So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin the pardon prayer. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. The Angel's Prayer. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of you the conversion of poor sinners. The Eucharistic Prayer. Most Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. Most Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. Most Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. 
the sacrifice prayer. O oh Jesus, it is for the love of you, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Fatima Decade Prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Lady of the Rosary, you came from heaven in May 1917 with a message of prayer and peace. You asked the children if they would be willing to offer themselves to God and bear all the sufferings he sent them as an act of reparation for the conversion of sinners. May we too make such an offering and accept that like the children, this may well involve us in suffering, but that the grace of God will also be our comfort. Let us take a moment in silence to make up our own petitions to Saints Jacintha and Francisco. We ask if you could pray for the granting of the CIO of our charity status application the approval will enable us to do more work through the apostolate. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation, but lead us to everlasting life, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. This evening, we have Father Roshi Robert from St. Teresa's Catholic Church Modern in Southwark, this evening, he'll be talking to us about the brown scapula of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Father Roshi. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. I first of all thank Brother Oliver and Brother Jerry and all those who have invited me to share the reflection about the brown scapula. I think this is the third time I'm coming to the, to the gathering of WAP. And I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for giving me the chance to share some of the reflection. Uh, before telling about Brown Scapula, I just wanted to share something uh, very personally. I think some of you might have heard that I lost my dad back in November. A couple of, a couple of days before the operation, a member of our wife, she came to me. Uh, I should acknowledge her name. Her name is Mary Carroll. She came to me and said, Father, when you go home to India, give this brown scapula to your dad. And I on, on the flight back home, I was just thinking about the devotion that very especially my parents had uh, for brown scapula. I'm a Franciscan Capuchin. Uh, I'm not a Carmelite, I'm a Franciscan Capuchin, but I did my schooling in a Carmelite school. 
so the sisters they used to teach us the importance of round scapular and all over kerala very especially uh, because of the carmelite order people had a very great devotion to brown scapula and when i reached the hospital i saw my dad was uh, having a brown scapula with him and i was so happy because i i never asked about a brown scapula but i was having a, a brown scapula which mary carol gave me to give to my dad and a couple of days later my dad passed away and when we think about brown scapula the traditional formulation of uh, scapular promises take the scapula whosoever dies wearing it shall not suffer eternal fire and the promise also say it shall be a sign of salvation a protection in danger and pledge of peace a central belief about the brown scapular is those who wear they are consecrating themselves to our blessed mother and we all know the history in 1951 pope pius the 12 He wrote an apostolic letter to the Carmelite order on the 700th anniversary of the vision of Saint Simon Stock that he hoped the scapula would be a sign of their consecration to the most sacred heart of the immaculate virgin and with regard to the scapula as a convention and a sacred sign holy catholic church has in the wind at various times in history to clarify the meaning and defend it and has confirmed the privilege of wearing this brown scapular and from the church document we have sufficient clarity about the nature and meaning of this scapular first of all the scapular is a marian habit or a garment it is both a sign and pledge a sign of belonging to mary a pledge of a motherly protection not only in this life but after death secondly it is a sign a conventional sign signifying three elements first it shows that you belong to a religious family particularly devoted to blessed mary secondly you are being consecrated to mary to the devotion so that put our trust in the immaculate heart and thirdly an assignment to become like mary by imitating her virtues above all her humility chastity and spirit of prayer and to be very frank sometimes you know when we think about this brown scapular as we use it as a garment as a protection we are yes sometimes very much ashamed of wearing it and it is because that we are so much secular right we are ashamed to carry the rosary beads in our hand we are ashamed to carry our breviary prayer book the divine office and the personal bibles when we go to church and sometimes we are also ashamed to wear the brown scapular and i often hear from various associations when they say about this particular brown scapular they say our uh, church members they don't want to wear it in public they are ashamed to wear it and it is just like the wedding ring that we keep as a as a as an external sign of my commitment to my husband to my wife and it is the external sign of my commitment to my partner 
should I be shy of wearing this wedding ring? Similarly, why should we be shy of showing our commitment to our Blessed Mother? If we are committed, and if we know that this particular cloth, this garment is going to bring me protection and blessing and eternal life, then why am I shy of wearing it? So this evening, when we are going to reflect about the blessing that we receive through this particular brown, uh, brown scapular, I was just reminded of the gospel passage that we had this Sunday. We were reflecting on the gospel of Luke chapter 6, verses 17. 20 to 26. And in the, interestingly, in, in Luke's account, sometimes we may think that Jesus was very harsh telling about the woes. And sometimes we may think, why is it, what is wrong with being rich when Jesus was saying that woe to you? What is wrong in having a good meal? What is wrong? in laughing and we will understand it when we try to relate the blessing and woes which the gospel of Matthew and Luke says in beatitude and we have a similar quotation back in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy chapter 28 we have the blessing which Moses shared with the people of Israel. And Moses is telling, if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands, the Lord God will give you all the blessings. He will set you high above all the nations on earth. And Moses continues, he will say, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. The crop of your land will be blessed. The young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flock. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord God will send blessings on your barn and on everything you put your hand to. And what Moses was teaching the people of Israel is, if you make your commitment to the Lord, if you are faithful in following his word, you will receive blessing. And if, if you fail to do so, and this is what is happening, if you do not obey the Lord your God, and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. The fruit of your womb will be cursed. You will be cursed in the city and cursed in the country. And the crop of your land and the calves of your herds and the lamb of your flock. You will be cursed when you come in. And you will be cursed when you go out. And what we read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 is, if you obey, Disobedience brings earthly blessing, and disobedience being, bring curses. And Jesus was trying to tell the people who are around him, don't worry about what's happening around you. It is not like in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament, when you give your promise, when you commit yourself, when you obey the Lord, you will get blessing, and if you disobey, curse. But Jesus is inviting us in the Gospel of Luke when he says the Beatitudes, he's saying, when you are poor, when you are hungry, when you weep, when you suffer, when people mock you, your reward will be great in heaven, not on earth. Your great, your your reward will be great 
in heaven. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we think about the protection that Blessed Mary is giving us when wearing the brown scapular is eternal life. And it's the same promise. If you make your commitment, your consecration, why are you worried about the blessings here on earth? Worry about the blessings in heaven because your reward will be great in heaven. And when we think about this, we should ask ourselves, then why am I ashamed, ashamed of wearing the brown scapula which shows my commitment to Blessed Mother? Remember, when you go to bed in tears, when people laugh at you for wearing the brown scapula, you are witnessing Blessed Mother. And you should not be worried about the blessings that you are going to receive here on earth. You will have riches, you will laugh, you will have your full, but we should always concentrate on eternal life, which Blessed Mother is promising you today. If you wear the brown scapular, that is a promise that you are making to me your consecration to me and be sure, my dear child, your reward will be great in heaven. Let us pray. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our heart. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us come out disorder. Do not let us ignore your good deeds. Help us to find you so that we may journey together to eternal life. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Rosary. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. God makes his presence in our lives known in many ways. Sometimes we have an open heart and open mind to hear his voice. Sometimes our minds and hearts are closed by our own selfishness and fear. Mary comes into our lives and asks us to follow her example. God sends the Holy Spirit into our lives to help us. Do I open my heart and mind to hear the voice of God calling me to do his will? Do I say yes to his will regardless of the possible consequences to myself? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. By visiting her cousin Elizabeth, Mary shows us the perfect model of charity. At a time, many of us would have let pride and self-centeredness consume us, 
she humbly went out of her way to serve someone else. She saw God and his works in another and went to take care of her. She focused on the needs of someone else. Do I look outside of myself for opportunities to perform service for others? Do I humbly serve the will of God or do I look for personal recognition for what I do? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus. Although poor, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus into this world without perfect love and dignity. The birth of Christ was the perfect model for what is truly important in our lives. God came into this world without any worldly possessions. In Jesus' birth, God is telling us that nothing is more important than his presence in our lives. Am I easily distracted by worldly possessions and other temptations? Do I humbly bring God into this world through my prayers, thoughts, words, and actions? Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Jesus is not subject to the law of Moses, yet to teach obedience, he submits to it. Mary is not subject to the law of purification, yet in humility, she submits to it. In their submission to the law, Simeon confirmed the presence of the Messiah in the world. He publicly prophesied that Jesus' mission and the effect it would have on the world. He also confirmed Mary's role and the suffering she would endure for Jesus and for us as our mother. Do I turn to the traditions and laws of the church to guide and direct me to God? Do I turn to devotions like the rosary to give me strength and grace to fulfill God's will? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. The fifth joyful mystery, finding the child Jesus in the temple. Mary and Joseph took it for granted that Jesus was with them. What a panic when he wasn't. We often take it for granted that Jesus is there with us. He is always there in the temple doing his father's business. We know where to find him now that he has taught us, but we must go there to be with him. When I lose Jesus in my daily life, do I frantically search for him like I would my lost child? Do I know where to find him? Do I go straight to the obvious place to look for him? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. O Mary conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let, Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy continual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter the joy of eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, 
to your immaculate heart, we consecrate ourselves in an act of total entrustment to the Lord. By you, we'll be led to Christ. By him and with him, we'll be led to the Father. We will walk in the light of faith and we will do everything so that the world may believe that Jesus Christ is the one sent by the Father. With him, we wish to carry his love and salvation to the ends of the earth. Under the protection of your Immaculate Heart, we will be one people with Christ. We will be witnesses of his resurrection. By him, we'll be led to the Father for the glory of the Most Holy Trinity, whom we adore, praise, and bless forever. Amen. Litany of Saints Jacinta and Francisco. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. God the Father, creator of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Son, redeemer of mankind. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, perfection of those who are chosen. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us. Our Lady of the Rosary. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary. Pray for us. Jacinta and Francisco, children blessed by God. Pray for us. Children so dear to the heart of Our Lady. Pray for us. Children so loved by all of us. Pray for us. Little shepherds in admiration of the glories of creation. Pray for us. Little shepherds gazing in wonder at the starry sky. Pray for us. Little shepherds caressing your fairy white lumps. Pray for us. Little shepherds with your clear innocent grace. Pray for us. Hearts enchanted by beauty. Pray for us. Hearts yearning for truth. Pray for us. Hearts overflowing with love. Pray for us. Amazing wonders of prayer. Pray for us. Wells brimming over with sacrifices. Pray for us. Children totally committed and ready for martyrdom. Pray for us. Francisco, seeker of peace and contemplation. Pray for us. You who would console God. Pray for us. You who died smiling. Pray for us. Jacinta, faithful helpmate of the Holy Father. Pray for us. You, the apostle of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Pray for us. You, the friend of sinners. Pray for us. You who enjoy the company of angels. Pray for us. Confidence of Our Lady. Pray for us. Living witnesses of her message. Pray for us. You who loved God so deeply. Pray for us. Watchers beside the hidden Jesus. Pray for us. Adorers of the Most Blessed Trinity. Pray for us. Stars of light for all human beings. Pray for us. Burning bush of the Most High. Pray for us. Flame of love for all eternity. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Forgive us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God who granted to our two little shepherds the grace to become burning bushes on fire with love for the Holy Father and for sinners, and burning with love for Our Lady, 
and the hidden Jesus, grant that we too may burn with the same love and with them all meet together again in heaven around Our Lady in adoration of the Blessed Trinity. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Prayer for the beautification of the servant of God, Sister Lucia. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I thank you for the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Fatima that revealed to the world the riches of her Immaculate Heart. By the infinite merits of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I implore you, if it should be for your greater glory and the good of our souls, to glorify Sister Lucia, one of the shepherds of Fatima, by granting us the grace which we employ through her intercession. Amen. Prayer for the World Apostolate of Fatima, England and Wales. Heavenly Father, we pray that devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which Jesus desires to establish in the world, may be ever more firmly established in this country, and that the message of Fatima be accepted and lived as fully as possible. Grant, we beseech you, that the work of the World Apostolate of Fatima may increase in England and Wales for your glory and the advancement of the church. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask Father Roshi to give us the final blessing for this evening. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, sanctify and bless our brethren by thy power on the scapulars that we have, which for the love of thee and for love of our Blessed Mother. Inspire your servants to wear the brown scapulars devoted to thee, so that through the intercession of Blessed Virgin, we all be protected against the evil spirit and persevere until death in your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Roshi. You're welcome. Thank you, Frank, Matt, Jofila, Sharon, and JR, and Jerry for helping us out with the technical bits. Please join us again tomorrow evening, same time for day five of the Novena, conversing at 8 p.m. And tomorrow it will be Brother Oliver who will be talking the consecration to Jesus through Mary. Thank you everyone for joining us. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Happy Valentine to all.